Hi everyone, thanks for joining me once again. My name's Peter, you're watching Thailand Bound, and today's upload is going to be a review. I'm going to be reviewing two things today. One is a very lively soy, it's Sukhumvit Soy 8, and I'm also going to be reviewing a hotel that I stay in quite often. It's a budget hotel, but it's very, very nice. It's called the Stable Lodge, and it's quite deep into Soy 8. So let's head down there right now. We will come back and visit this in the evening when it's in full swing, but as you can see, it is quite lively with lots of bars, restaurants, and a 7-Eleven. Looking at the hotel now from the front, you can see it's uh, a fairly old hotel, but it's been refurbished several times. There is a bar there at the entrance and a decent sized swimming pool. Apart from the swimming pool and the bar, there isn't a lot of facilities here. As I said, it is a budget hotel, but the great thing about it, it is very, very friendly and the rooms are, are nice as you'll see in a while. There is a restaurant there, I've never used it. Okay, so let's enter a typical guest room. This is my room, a little bit messy. I've got my things laying all over the place, as you can see. And uh, the bed is probably one of the most comfortable mattresses I've ever slept on in my life. Coffee and tea making facilities. I did forget to film it, but there is a, a safe in the wardrobe. The bathroom's very clean. Looks slightly older now but it's fine i paid 1400 baht per night for this room as i said it's not the cheapest room in bangkok but it's a very good location quiet yet near to all the action huge balcony you make yourself a cup of coffee and sit out there in the morning and a great view of the pool it is a little bit overlooked i'm in a, a room facing the front uh, you can obviously go at the back uh, and then you're not overlooked. Not as much anyway. I'll just show you this very quickly. It's a restaurant called Debt 5. It's right next door to the Stable Lodge. And I will be having dinner here tonight, so we will come back to here. But it is a, a very good restaurant with a, a huge menu, as you can see there. Both Thai and foreign food. So I've decided to have dinner in Get 5 uh, next door to the Stable Lodge. It's a great place to eat, it's reasonably priced, very good menu and lots to choose from. So I'll have a look at the menu, see what I'm going to have at the moment. Uh, the one good thing about here, you can get a really decent cup of coffee. And that's really good when you've been asleep for most of the afternoon. I'm just so jet lagged, it's taken me longer than it normally does to get over the jet lag. But um, I'm feeling pretty good now. So I'll have a meal, I might go for a massage in a bit. and. Uh, I don't know what my plans are this evening, but let's order some food and let's see what we get. It all looks so good. Well, I've decided to opt for the uh, the classic there. There it is, Kalpak Guy. Chicken fried rice with an egg on top. That should go down very, very well. I'm very hungry. Mm. That's good. Plenty of chicken in it. Mm. Really enjoyed that. <coughs> That hit the spot. I do recommend this place for dinner if you're ever in Soy 8. It's a Depth 5. Excellent restaurant right next to the Stable Lodge. Not bad for Bangkok. That's uh, 260 baht. It was 50 baht for a coffee and 20 baht for water and whatever the fried rice was. I'll leave them a tip as well. Probably round it up to three. What's that about £7.50? Not bad for dinner. Not in Bangkok anyway.